Hello, and welcome back to Battletech Rogue Tech. My name is Siki Paws, and well, today we have a look what are the new missions available after the financial report are. We have a battle, we have an assassination, another battle, a recovery, not so certain about that, ambush convoy, do duel, not particularly something I do mind that much destroy base. Another battle. They have an air unit in there, so there's that. The capture base and a destroy base. Some things that are off world. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But I kind of think an assassination sounds like a great idea right about now to kick this off. And yeah, Operation Yankee Guild. A wanted war criminal has been spotted on the zoo. Uh, there. Unfortunately, he appeared to have integrated himself into a Valkyrian aligned mercenary company. We need you to track him down and destroy his mech. If he ejects, we'll take him into custody to be tried before Lyrian Cult. If not, no harm done. You'll be paid same either way. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack here. I mean, this is in a sweet attack we will be dealing with, but that is totally fine. I'm also debating on taking the AC2 carrier out in favor of this Anubis. Uh, nah, should be fine, like we are. Let's deploy and see where we're touching down. We are touching down. We are only contact for a single target here, but we both know it won't be that easy. Yes, the war criminal you're hunting won't be alone. The company of Valkyrie mercenaries that he's signed on with will attack you on side. Good hunting, Commander. Oliver out. Only good Valkyrian is a dead Valkyrian. Okay, if you say that. Now, what do we have here in forms of that? A scorpion, a prowler, and a trebuchet, a prowler. That can get be nasty or good, who knows. Well, we are going to advance, let's find ourselves a war criminal. And uh, then we'll be right in touch when we have said war criminal and it is time to take action. Oh, right, here we are, we found ourselves a target, a wasp. I also haven't seen this mech just before, I mean, that looks saw bomber, so that definitely looks like uh, that can do some damage. Now, I know that one target is here and the other was actually somewhat behind there, so I think we found the supporting lance there. Uh, fair enough. Uh, let's move up ahead and just there's a fire starter, which I think is that person's thing. Uh, the fire starter can be targeted, the other can't, so let's just leave something over there. And see what's going to happen. Okay, AMS and stealth. dense in my armor so far. That's not what I signed up for. Okay, let's get over here. How are you looking? So, yeah, that has something stealth armor. Great. That didn't hit. It would have been nice if that would have been a hit, but uh, yeah. Being nice and actually being the case is usually not something that works so well together. Uh, come on. How about that wasp gets what it deserves? 
Uh, well, getting what it deserves is probably not going to happen that fast. Well, that worked quite, quite well. Taking there some shots at it. Uh, no, this one, it ha- Ooh. Nasty. Fire. Some more structure damage in there. Yeah, I have a little bit of feeling this one would wish it stayed home. Ah, that wasn't very, very much helpful, but we're taking it. Okay. Mech is on fire. There is another one moving there. This one can go here. Let me see, there's a Valkyrie. The Wasp went up there. I still think the Fire Starter should be staying in some nice little units of... What are we calling that? Uh, mines? What's happening now? Primary target damage command. Uh, what now? Landmines explodes 13. Structure damage. Mask also damaged the legs. I'm... Would say I'm surprised, but... I am not. this one on I mean this is not my primary this is not my primary target what's with my primary target uh, both are not particularly good options uh, let's just see if we can light things on fire over there that should do the trick No clue how that hit, but I take it. Especially because that means I don't have to deal with that that much. My turn. How's it my turn? Well. Not an option. Also not an option. Just brace for no. Okay, uh, many bad things might be happening. Sprint. We want the heavy tank further on the front. You. No, I actually would like this one to move over here. Now is my question. Can you... Yes, you can take countermeasures against them. Hmm, okay. That's uh, something I wanted to figure out. So countermeasures against those are an option. Now the question if I would hit the ground. Why are they moving over there? Ow! Okay, there is an Irby coming in.
That works. Oh. I just figured one thing out. This guy actually has AMS. Well. Doesn't matter too much. Apparently. So, yeah. What happened to the AMS of the Valkyrie? Do I want to know that? I just decided I don't want to know what happened to the AMS, and I will be moving along the street. The Shepherd should be enough to deal with the Valkyrie. Apart from it should be enough, I think I have at least this guy also uh, having a nice little look at that. Or not. Bloody stealth armor. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Okay, that all sounded very, very weird, but no. Nah. None of those make sense for me at the moment to wait. No hits there. The Yerby just sits up there. Fourteen. Sure. You have this wee bit of a problem that you don't defend yourself with your AMS anymore. And that usually leads to you getting pounded. How rude. It tries to escape. is up there. Let's make sure that the Yerby does not have such a good time when it starts moving. The fire starter is not doing much. The wasp is going somewhat around there. you mind dying for me? Mm, I take that as a no. So the AMS is back online. going to move along with the tank. I mean, we have one mech that we're dropping at the moment, so I probably should say I'm moving along with one of the tanks. Ah, the Yerby moves. And in usual Yerby fashion, it got hit by mines. That happens. Uh, that doesn't make sense. I have enough of those. Um, are those incendiary ones? Or Inferno? I'm actually not so certain if they actually should be burning something. Uh, yeah, that's the AC2 carrier. I mean, the wasp came around. The wasp got pretty much pummeled on the face, and the wasp decides to go again. Uh, 
Sounds like typical wasp behavior to me. Uh, I'm more for actually setting that place over there on fire. Did not plan on hitting that one, but I'll take it. More important for me at the moment is keeping the Irby in constant company of mines. I need a bigger lounge or something like that. Okay. They also see the Irby as a threat. 16. The fire starter is moving. Now, let me see. Nope, none of this targets makes any sense for the moment. Okay. This one hitting would be nice, but I'm also taking this one just kind of doing some vicinity damage. Okay. This one against the Irby, not so sure if I want to pet the Shepherd against the Irby. Especially because I don't really know what type of Irby that is. It just says Urban Mech. Mm, that gun doesn't look that big. What now? One, two, three flamers. What the hell is that atrocity? As if they get close enough to use them. Anyhow. Uh, let's see. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. The AMS is working again. I'm not such a huge fan of them trying to retreat. Oh no, the Irby is coming closer. It's trying to get me. Let's move here. On the other hand, the Irby is also losing leg armor. And that in a very, very fast way. Oh. The wasp found some landmines again. Keeping it in the ditch here that it cannot be targeted. And as soon as we can get uh, jump out, we might be able to give that one a nice little surprise. Hello. How is everyone doing here? There's another urban mech. Not that big a fan of that, but uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I did not plan on reserving that one, but that is so far working out. Just thinking about that, there is another Irby.
Okay, that Irby is there. I'm... Ouch. That had to be rockets, though. That was not what I expected. Okay, mistakes have been made. Uh, let's see. No. Um. This Irby again. Even though that should not be needed anymore, but still. Okay, that was um, an interesting experience. Let's put it this way. Revenge. At least some. Okay, that's going to get interesting. There is the fire starter. Why is the fire starter running away? Something. More landmines for that one. You missiles, tons of missiles, yeah. Some more damage. Uh, there's the uh, the Abbies are always a wild card. That is the big problem with them. They are always in one way, shape, or form some form of nuisance. But this one has luckily now the opportunity to get smoked in a moment. Yes, screw that fire. That man is scorching. It's there. Move this one up here and let me see. Yeah, fire them up there. Don't let the fire starter escape. Hello. That was not very, very successful. At least I showed those trees over there. I mean, those trees were definitely out of line. So they needed to be shown. Yeah, yeah. I 
sticking with what I just said. Those trees needed a lesson. <laughs> okay. How are they all ex inspired? By what? There was nothing to be inspired about. Okay. That's going to get interesting. Yeah, that one moves. A tag. Ooh. That area we got it hard. And some more armor removed. Okay, and uh, let's move closer. Uh, yes, please. And I also know that this is not only the wasp over there. There is also others. Ow! not good. Okay, I need to remove Shepard out of the, the, the option there because the, the Shepard because that thing is valuable. Okay. fire solution on that one. A mech pilot panics. Yes, an Irby pilot that is panicked is a good pilot. This one down here. Energy mainly. But that brings some heat there. Okay. One point something for something. Uh, can we get this Irby maybe out of the aquarium? No, but we can basically put some heat on that one. Where did those shots hit? Oh, I think one actually hit. Okay, move this one up here. And the wasp actually looks like we can hit it. Not very well, and we hit the Valkyrie behind the wasp, but I mean, if that is how it goes, sure. And uh, now over there is careful because this is now also a minefield. I really need things that show me where minefields are. I think you found more mines. I left them there for you. Ouch. 
yeah, this Valkyrie needs to go. So I need a lot of the other units. Okay. Can we make that? Pretty bad, because that one got hit. Uh, let me see. This one is the one that is lying down. And we are going for the legs if we can. No clue what I hit there, but that is one less wasp to worry about. Okay. what you are tagging me for but apparently you got hit there is so much stuff going on here 12 to Yeah, you are also somewhat a nuisance. You can also have some of these. Okay. An ideal. I now need to try to do something against this guy. Yeah, that, that works. That definitely works. Uh, doing something against him. And then next moment he explodes. I kind of would like to have that patent. And thanks you very much. But I also know that this is not particularly an option. There is still landmines up there, so... Not a place to be. Let's move the 5B here. And sure! Just make sure that this fire starter has a nice little lovely jump about situation okay Brace the... Oh, shoot. I should have waited. Oh, well. Stupid things that happen. Move this one up. I can't fire this one. Oh, that's... Yeah. That's not going to help too much. That one is the better option. And the structures are destroyed. Now, ten, yes. The 
this Irby definitely deserves a nice little welcoming gift. Well, that takes this Irby off the battlefield and leaves us with uh, way less trash to look after. Okay. We can move up here. But I'm not getting any... The problem is there's still burning items in the way. So let's move this carrier over here. 21, 24... Sure. Or not. Let me see. Yes. The Irby gets it. Heat sink destroyed. Armor damage. Structure damage. I don't think that he is doing too well. No, actually we can attack the Irby. And that didn't help too much, but well, the lower leg is destroyed, the pirate is panicked. That leaves us with um, options. What is the fire starter doing? There is mines, and he actually has real weapons. I'm surprised. I'm not so sure what the other people are doing up there. Shouldn't you have some mines up there to step on? Eh, maybe he has already found them all. No? Hmm. Uh, let's see if we get this Irby. I don't know why I still don't like the idea of having an Irby roaming around. That caused me so much hurt. So I will cause it hurt too. Yeah, I just caused it tons of hurt. Luckily for me, there is more hurt where that hurt came from. A head hit. Holy hell. I think we are at the moment very, very, very much dishing it out. It has one unidentified weapon. Why well then? Give the fire starter some love. What is the fire starter doing? Moving somewhere? Staying there? There is still some mines up there, so there is that too. Uh, can you... No, no, no. Can you stay here and just look pretty while firing on that one? Another head hit. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much what we were aiming for. Not really, but I take it. 
Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Now I'm finding my own land mines. Uh, fire. That works, and the pilot is out. Hello. Would you mind staying in range that I actually can fire from you? Um, no, apparently not. Oh, come on. There can't be that much left. This should turn into metal sludge by now, but we all know how that works. I have also a little bit the feeling that most of my allies here are out of ammo. Uh, no, I'm not going up there. So, there is that. I'm just turning around and opening fire on you. Moving closer. Yeah, I also shouldn't move this one anymore. That was a bad situation. Okay, uh, more mines. All right, panicked, knocked down, more injuries. I do have the feeling this guy is not happy. Uh, damage again. How are we looking here? Okay. Yeah, still going. You stood up, and now? Whoopsie! I think he stood up and found some of the landmines. Congrats, you get to keep them. Commander, the area has been cleared. Do you give me the green light to land immediately? Hold position. Perfect. Let's grab our spoils. Okay, what do we have here? The Valkyrie is only a 30 ton mech. Uh, for that, it actually gave me a ton of headaches. Anyhow, uh, let's look through this. I will have a wee bit of look what we're getting in a moment. We got two parts of the fire starter, so that's nice if we ever want to have a fire starter. A hotshot flamer, that's kind of alright. Tag, uh, some basic cockpits in case we get something primitive. An engine core that is very, very, very quickly uh, get removed there. We don't need that type of engine core. An engine fuel cell might be useful in the uh, future quick sell items not that certain about that but I also took the stealth axe here just in case a standard fusion engine so yeah we kind of should 
be quite happy with what we have here. And this is our repairs. Boss, one of our mechs was damaged in the last engagement. It cost 828 uh, sea bills and one day for repair repairs. Sure, go ahead and repair the fire B. Now, all in all, we need to wait until we get everything up and running again. We will be doing that and then get the next mission started in the next episode. Thank you very much for being here, and as always, play it nice and keep your claws attracted. Till the next time, everyone, have a good one.